Hi, welcome to Hardy Classics, Hardy's Garage. Um, today we've got a little Bedford HA. Uh, I think it's a 110, this van. Um, it's a double plus, so it's a special edition. Um, I don't know the numbers, but I would think there's only a handful of these left on the road. This is a genuine special edition, uh, double plus. What makes it special, obviously, the metallic paintwork. You drop inside, it's got a factory fitted seat. These vinyl seats. These blue vinyl seats um, make it a special edition. The carpet, that wouldn't have been in the van. Uh, the headlining, again, chrome trims, I think. Uh, these all came with the, the special edition. Um, this particular little van, uh, we've had in stock for a, well, a few months. We bought it at an auction, wasn't running right, pulled the engine out of it. And to be fair, the engine was goose, so we fitted another engine. It's a Viva engine, similar engine, a little bit higher compression. I think it might be a few more cc's. Better engine, I think, more torquey, more power. Um, when we had it out, we've, as you can see, it's nice and clean in here. We flashed the inner wings over, because um, you're never going to get a chance to do it unless you take the engine out. And, and to take the engine out, you're literally looking at about two hours to pull that engine out. So you can see why these these vans were so good. You know, you could pull the engine out in a couple of hours, new engine in, in a way. Um, I've got an affection with these little vans because this was the first van, the first vehicle I ever owned. It was a Bedford HA van. I paid £100 for it. Uh, it was a post office van, bright red. I hand painted it blue. And I ran it for a year. We went all over in this little van. Uh, brilliant, brilliant vans. Uh, and there's a place for a van like this in the matter place today, I still say. You know, 50 mile an hour flat out. Breaks down, you can fix it. It's, you know, just a simple, simple, simple van. And everybody had them. Water board, electric board, gas board, post office. Everybody had them vans. And it's just... A shame that there's not so many of them left on the road. But if you if you're interested in it, it's up for sale. It's a really rare van. It's not a concourse van by any means. The paintwork isn't concourse paintwork, but it never was in a van. So it's definitely one if you took it over show people would be attracted to it. So there you go, we're gonna take it out for a test drive and I'm gonna show you how one drives. There you go, a bad video to you. Okay, in the ignition. Got a little lock on these on the back. Press the lock, which is in your lock. There you are, beats the key. Beats the key. Right, we'll get it started. First time, beats the key every time. And we're off. We're going to take this uh, 1974, I think it is this, on an M. So, what's that, 48 years old? Get this little van out for a spin. Uh, test drive. Here we go. Nice little thing. Petrol engine, of course. Full speed gearbox. Lovely little gearbox on these, nice and tight. Uh, drum brakes, so you've got to give a little bit of time when you. You come to a junction or a car in front of you, or in fact, you've got to anticipate. I always call them anticipation brakes on old cars because you've got to anticipate when to stop. The thing with these fans is, like all old commercials and classic cars, really, the engines are that small, you can't pull away in second gear, so you've got to put it in the first, not like a bug diesel or anything stuff like that. So, right, we're off. earlier nicely. There she goes. Lovely smooth little driver's fan. Loads and loads of power. Loads and loads of power. And I think Bedford with these little vans got it really right. Uh, when you look around at other vans in the, in the day, uh, like the Escort van, the Verena van, this van was a, to me, it was a proper little commercial. It, it just looked like a commercial vehicle. It didn't look like a car derived van. Thing is, the little commercials like this, like you always get a wave or a, somebody will pick their own, everybody looks. So you don't see them on the road. And I think there's only a handful of these Bedford HAs on the road. 
and I'm not some, I'm sure how many these double pluses are on the road, but you take this to a car show and you, you have anything standing next to it and, and people will definitely look at this before they look at anything, you know, like the sports car Porsche 911 or anything like that. You, you see loads of them. You see loads of Porsche 911s at car shows, but you don't see many Bedford AJ double plus fans. The thing about one of these fans is you can use it. I could still use this today. Get a little business, I don't know, a little paint and decorator or something. You could use this little van, no problem at all. And you know you'd get there in one piece. You might get there slow, but you get there in one piece. Tell you what it doesn't like. It doesn't like what we're coming up there now, which are space humps. You can't, you can't straddle them, and you can't, you can't go over the top of them. You know, the, the, the wheelbase is very narrow on the little van. It's been a long time since I've rode a Bedford H here to be fair, uh, but it just drives exactly as I remember. One thing about it is that the mirrors on the, on the wings are absolutely useless, absolutely useless. You can't see a thing out there, you might as well not be on. There you go, you can pull away like that in first, in the second, you can see I was pulling away, accelerating, keeping up with the traffic. You know, we've got a lot of vehicles from the 1930s and you can't drive them just can't drive them, not on these roads. They drive fools fantastic. And the other good thing about this van is the turn and circle. These vans have an amazing turn and circle. I don't I don't think there's any little commercial on the on, on the market today can turn like one of these vans. There you go. I wouldn't like to do that too often. I felt dizzy after doing that. We've just showed you the turning circle on the Phantom Maze. Great little thing. Absolutely great for round town. Um, get on about electric vans and low emission this and low emission that. Like this has been on the plan for 50 years. Can't have a, can't have a carbon footprint. Impossible. Impossible. Right, we're going to put your foot down and see uh, how she performed. 50 mile an hour there. Might be able to push it to 60. Don't know. You won't be able to do much more, you wouldn't want to do much more on the man, would you really? I mean, it's an open road, it's national speed limit, but let's face it, you don't want to fly about these things, do you? Nice little village of Shinkliff. Problem is where we live. You haven't got a really good set of roads to test drive stuff on. Um, there's a lot of quarry wagons and big arctics. So it's nice to get out into the little villages like Shinkliff and uh, do it around, get a few looks and a few waves off people. Some of the vans we've got are actually in the cars, they're actually that old that we take them out for a test drive or a runabout, we'll actually put them on the battery recovery to do it. With. Just so people can see them because you, you can't really, they're that slow, you can't really drive them on the road and it's not fair to all the road users. But this little van, you can just drive like a modern day car. Now pulling down the hill you've got to really anticipate the braking and, and use your gearbox like just like old school that like you were taught to drive when you come down the gearbox down the hill slow down with your brakes down the gearbox. You don't get taught that today, you just get taught to pull up in top gear and, and stop. That's it, put it in the first and pull away. So we're driving through the little village of Shinkland from there. In a van that's 50 year old, and you can see the little old houses down here. You could be, this could be 50 years ago. Nobody would bat an eyelid, really. This is the kind of transport you'd have. 
you know, your postman, your gas ball, let me fall, you all had these fans, delivery men. Just a shame there's so many left on the road, as hard as any. Every test drive I do, I like to do this hill in Durham, it's called Potter's Bank. Doesn't look much for me, but believe me, if you have to walk up, but you know about it. This little van will just cruise along here. I'm totally confident that it will probably be up here in top gear. Spin round here, I'm going to show you how good that turning circle is here. You would not do this in a modern little van. There you go, straight round. No three point turns, just flick it straight round. Back down the gearbox. Into first. Bit of throttle, and away we go. There it is. Again, just watching for anybody coming up, just ready to brake. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't stop. If you press the brakes now, you, you'd probably stop when you got the roundabout. Nice little distinctive uh, exhaust note, these little vans. Uh, again, they're so simple, you can fix them, it's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Driving into Durham here, and I remember driving down here in a van like this, you know, it was the first van I had, so it brings back a lot of good memories for me. The only thing is, the van wasn't in as good a condition as what this one is. Want to bring it through the middle of Durham so you can see, like they can, they can, they can do modern traffic. There's a lot, a lot of the old commercials can't, and keep up with stuff. People pointing, looking, waving, dipping on. Do bring a lot of people's attention. Dashboard on these ones is such a simple thing, as well as uh, you haven't got any fancy dials or anything. So, really, you've definitely got to check your oil and water on the morning before you set off. Again, just pulling through the gears nice and smooth, plenty of power. Going over the bridge here in Durham City. To the left we've got the uh, famous Durham Cathedral, the river, the castle, you can just see the cathedral there, the bridge, beautiful sign there, it looks sick of seeing that. Good thing about the, the little van, it's a single gearbox, you don't have to double clutch, a lot of the commercials we've got, you've got a double clutch, I mean, you've got a double clutch them in to get them into first, but this thing's just a nice little think we'll get your bucks. Well that's the test drive coming to an end uh, and I must say we've had no issues at all. It's pulled well, it hasn't overheated, uh, no smoke, no noises, no rattles, no bangs. Brakes are nice, uh, just drives like it should really. Test drive with the Bedford HA. Grove impeccable.